It is a delicious comfort food, perfect for a dreary day. Here to share her recipe for mooshu pork, we welcome back professional caterer Allison Tucker. Great to see you. How's it going? It smells so good in here already. I'm already. so excited. Isn't that fantastic? Tell me the backstory behind this dish. Well, when I was a little girl, mooshu pork was my absolute favorite thing in the whole entire world. That's wonderful. World. I absolutely loved it. And then as I got more, you know, grown up, yeah. I sort of felt like it wasn't a an appropriate dish anymore. Okay. No, I had to move into more, uh, you know, exotic things. You had or to spread more, your wings. I had to spread my yeah. wings. And then recently, you know, there was this or ice storm, mm. and we went out for Chinese food, and all of a sudden, out of my mouth is coming, I would like the mushu <gasps> pork. Yay! And I was like, this is the jam. What a good comfort so food, too. It's so comforting, and it's not really bad. For, I mean, it's not. It's not junk. It's not the junk food I sort of associate sure. it with. Yeah. As you know, there kids are worse food. things. <laughs> totally worse <laughs> things. So I have a super hot wok here. Yes. With some this, I'm using avocado oil because it has a nice high smoke point. Okay, great. And the first thing I'm going to do, I've I've sort of mise en place, yes. meaning I've set up my things, and I'm going to, as I cook, I'm going to tell you how I set it up. Okay. So this is three eggs that are scrambled. Okay. I mean that are <laughs> that are beaten, and right. I'm going to scramble yes. them here in this super hot wok. Okay. And that is just going to take a tiny... Super quick, right? Super quick. And then it's going to go... You don't even need to cook it all right. the way through because it's going to get recooked. Okay. Okay? So we're just doing that. And then that is going to go right back into the okay. original bowl. Do you season that at all to begin with or I is it going to get all the I flavor do. later? It's going to get the yeah. flavor okay. later because we're building. Perfect. We're building not only the flavor in that bowl, but we're building the flavor in the wok, yes. which is going to be degreased uh, de at the end, okay. and uh, that's going to make even more flavor. Yes. What ha is happening? <laughs> um, okay, so now I have, I have some pork. Now this is just pork chops. Okay. Pork loin sure. chops yeah. that are sliced. They have nice teeny tiny pieces. What they do is they come like that right. big. I slice them down into about quarter inch okay. thick slices, and then I slice those pieces into sort of matchsticks. Perfect. Okay. And then I marinate them. Mm -hmm. I make a marinade of two tea. Uh, sorry, yes, two teaspoons of uh, dry sherry, okay. three teaspoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And the baking soda asks, acts as a tenderizer, Interesting. a meat tenderizer. Okay. So that gets the meat a little bit more chewable. Okay. And it only needs to marinate for like a half an hour. It's okay. like if you start doing that, that's your first thing. Perfect. And then you, as you get all of the other stuff ready, it's marinated You're good enough. to go. Okay. That's perfect. So this is, this normally cooks for about two minutes. Our wok is, isn't as blazing hot as it would be. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to put this off to the side and move on to the other things Beautiful. we are building, 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 and a little bit more oil and some mushrooms. Perfect. These are shiitake mushrooms, okay. but you can use shiitake, beech um, mushrooms. You can use anything there sliced. This is about a half a pound of mushrooms. Okay. And they cook up. Now you see, with these things, that they're not getting any salt because right. we're going to add it to okay. it at the end. It's and gonna every get individual thing you're making, each thing only takes a couple of minutes. It, uh, it doesn't take very yeah. much time at all. So we, these are cooked. We'll pop them in there. Beautiful. We're going to add a little bit more oil, and then we're going to add about two cups of Napa cabbage Okay. with about three... Uh, scallions, Yum. just the ends cut off, uh -huh. about inch long pieces. Gonna stir fry that for a second, 
and then into this I'm gonna add a sauce. Now this sauce is made of a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of sh dry sherry, three garlic cloves, and a tablespoon of sesame oil. Okay. And I've mixed that together beforehand. And in sizzle, it goes. Sizzle, sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle. And now is the magic moment. Yes. Where we add everything that we've oh, already cooked. Beautiful. Back in there. And it is a big. Look at that. Look at that. Such pretty color. And it's done. That's I mean, it. It's, we did it. That's it. We did it. So and we you have some over here from TV Magic that I is do. ready to taste. So what we do is, if you take one of these pancakes, okay. and I made Ooh, these I love pan this. I made these pancakes. I'll show you how to make them Fancy. on another day. Should I dump some in here? First, we're going to do some hoisin sauce, love which is that. beautiful, so good. sweet sauce. And you can just go right Kay. there. <laughs> and then roll it on up. Yum. And okay, I'm you diving go. in. Allison, you're the best. You Thank always bring you. such delicious things. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Woo! So cozy. Thank you. Great right to see you. Thank you so much. To see you. We'll have this recipe and more about Allison on our website at kahu.com. I'm still chewing. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.